Hello, darlings, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Raven. I cried when I met Mary Poppins at Disney World at 33 years old, and I love to play with makeup. Today we are doing my January favorites. I'm a little bit late to the game, but hey, better late than never. So let's get into it and discuss some of the products that I've been absolutely loving in the last month and a few poos. There are definitely a few hate it's that I had in the month of January and it kind of stunk. Anyways, if you would like to see from my magics and tragics, stay tuned. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's just... I never know how to start these things. First, I've got the Dreamcatcher palette in Golden Horizons by NYX. I did a tutorial with it. I will link that tutorial below uh, so you can see me actually use it. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail because in that video, I go into a lot of detail about why I love it. Uh, a little bit of recap. There's a matte white in this palette that I absolutely love, and there are three matte browns in there that blend wonderfully and work any day of the week. So affordable, love it, there is that. Uh, other things that I have mentioned in, I think it was that exact same video, is the new Liquid Cat Suits by Wet n Wild. It was like $4.99 and their gel lip liner pencils, and they were $2.99. Absolutely magic combination, wearing it right now with a little bit of glitter thrown in. Love this combination. I have bought two more. I don't, I don't know where the other, oh, the other one is in a purse. I've got it in red, the scene, and I think this is like something about flamingos. Yeah, think flamingos. Absolutely love, love, love change the game and the liquid cat suits amazing when you wear it with this stuff on under it lasts forever doesn't dry down and get crumbly and nasty and is comfortable uh, this seriously has beaten out some of my very high-end very expensive lipsticks and i plan on getting as many of them as i can get my hands on Oops. Another thing I um, have been really loving is actually a combination of two things, but they are the same thing. The NYX Micro Brow Pencils. I got it, the first time I got it, I got it in the color, in the color Espresso, which is a dark brown, and I liked it, but wasn't loving it. So I've discovered that they actually have one in black since I have black hair. I kind of resist doing black on my eyebrows because it sometimes it can look a little harsh, but this does not look too harsh at all. I love the tiny, tiny, tiny little tip. I love that there is a spoolie on the other end. And what I have been doing is actually been using espresso in the front part on my brows and then the black, which as you can see is not a black in your face color. It's just a nice dark color. I've been using that on the ends and blending them together. together. And it has been a real game changer. So that is huge. And then I just top it off with my NYX Brow Mascara in black that isn't actually black, but it's good. So that has been my brow game. What else do I got? Oh, oh my God. I discovered this this month and this is like, I can't. I, I can't even. Okay, what is it? This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum. The whole idea is, okay, it's an eyeliner with a serum that's supposed to make your lashes grow. I can't attest to that because I've only been using it for about two weeks. Um, this is freaking amazing. Amazing. It is a brush. It is a brush tip. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, hello. Um, 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful formula. There is something about it that just, it glides so smoothly. I have aging eyes um, that don't do well with any sort of liners that have any sort of pull to them. And I've found that the ones that don't have pull to them are too liquidy so or watery, so the formula tends to like seep and bleed. This is the perfect mixture of smooth and black. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so sorry, Kat Von D. I'm so sorry. This has won out over my tattoo liner in Trooper. And that kind of breaks my heart. But what doesn't break my heart is this is only nine something and that one's 20. So it's half the price and I am sold. And it does have like a little ball in there to shake it up. Game changer. I had not worn liquid eyeliner on my eyes for a few months because I had just been so used to effing it up. And I'm not scared anymore. This is amazing. Amazing. Check it out. Amazing. Woo! Got a little excited there. Worth it. Excited. Oh, uh, let's see. One last makeup product. I... So if you don't know, I film my videos on my iPhone because I can't afford a camera. But I mean, sometimes people call me while I'm filming. Ah, okay, back to it. I have been really trying hard not to spend money on makeup lately. I'm saving and having some financial whatevers. But I read a review or saw a review on this tiny little Lorac Pro Matte Palette and head to have it. So there is a mirror. Look at those. Okay, you know how I feel about a matte white. Oops, matte white. Oh, it's so good. And we've got a really great black in there, plus some shades of brown. And I love these, like a, a dusty mauve and a kind of a dusty maroon mauve color to, so you don't get too bored with just the brown colors. These are so amazing. The color, they blend so well. They're pigmented. All, I can't, I don't even have words, like all the stereotypical good words that people use about powder or eyeshadows. Yeah, and I love that it is just a small, tiny little travel size. Perfect, perfect for perfect. Just absolutely perfect. I'm definitely getting some use out of it and I will definitely be doing like, I don't know if I'll do a review, but maybe like a tutorial with it or just to get ready with me or something to promote and share the love because I honestly think this is the absolute perfect like pocket pinup makeup palette. That's what I'm going for. Alrighty, so let's get off of, I have one thing that is non-makeup this month that I totally fell in love with. Uh, Candy Johnson, who is a total inspiration and amazing. She is a YouTuber, makeup artist, all around amazing, inspirational person. I will link her channel below. She's just She's so bubbly and so positive and absolutely amazing. I love her. And she came out with a collab for some nail polishes with, with sinful colors. And I had to pick up a few. Can I just say thank you so much, Candy, for doing a collaboration with um, a company that I can afford on my very, very tiny budget. Because all of these colors that I got, I think they were like $2.99. Or less. They were either $1.99 or $2.99. Something. Very, very, very affordable. Available at Walgreens. I got two matte colors. What did I get? I got strawberry milk and mint chip. And they are matte. Even though when you look at it, you can see like this gold iridescence in them. It doesn't show up gold iridescent on your nails, it just what it, it helps it not look so flat. It's like that matte, but not flat colors. 
and they're so cool. I could do a whole review on them, but I don't really know how to review nail polishes other than, oh, uh, I like it. Um, the consistency was amazing. They were really, really opaque. I didn't even really feel like I needed two coats. Like I am absolutely, absolutely love them. And there's a bunch of other colors. Not all of them are matte. Um, I think most of them are matte. And then she's got some sugar, sugar ones that have a neat, like matte texture. I don't, I don't know how to describe them. Look it up. They're amazing. Um, and then I got one other one that is a glitter that I super, super love. It's like a pastel, uh, teal, yellow, pink, and iridescent glitter. I do have it on top of Ignore the Grow Out and the fact that I've lost some nails over here, but I do have it on my nails there and I'm I I'm just never excited for nail polish and this excited me so um thank you Candy Johnson I think you're absolutely amazing love love you and thank you for making something affordable that I could one absolutely love but to support you with because I think you're amazing and I totally think you are worthy of all the love and support in the world okay Moving on to some hate it, some poos. Uh, let's see. I've, I've just got three, maybe? Yeah, three. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I don't understand the hype. And this was totally um, YouTube made me, made me buy. Well, and that I wasn't in the store that sells my normal makeup remover wipes. But... These suckers, these e.l.f. cleansing claws, ugh. I don't like the texture on them. I don't like the smell on them. They come, well, I mean, it's not horrid. It's, it's not horrid, but I did not like the texture of the claws. I don't think they're damp enough. Um, I just felt like I had to rub and rub and rub, and I don't like the way they left my skin feeling. I just, no. I mean, will I use them? Absolutely, because I, you know, need to clean off makeup swatches, but will I be using them on my face? No. And these are all over YouTube. Everybody just raves and raves and raves about them. And just, no. Um, I normally, hmm, my favorite makeup wipes I get from the dollar store, and they are... Uh, Modessa Cucumber Scented Makeup Remover Wipes. These are the cheapest re makeup remover wipes I've ever found. And so I've kind of tried to try out other brands, uh, seeing if there's anything better. Um, but they're all way more expensive. And I'm just kind of thinking now, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're cheap, they smell good, and I like them. So why keep trying out other ones that are more expensive? Meh. So, um, yay, no, 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 I don't, I, and, and they're, they're all over YouTube. Everybody's like, oh my God, they're so great. No. <sighs> Calm down. Okay. Another YouTube made me buy it and my love of Milani made me buy it. I tried out the Milani Correct and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer, Creamy Vanilla. This is their lightest shade. Lightest shade. Um, 01 Creamy Vanilla. Uh, this get I love packaging, love pump. It is great. Um, the light washes it out, but it is so orangey yellow. Um, regardless of the color, the, uh, which is nowhere near a match, um, it is a really intense full coverage, which I normally love, but I could not get it to work with my skin. It kind of, I couldn't get it to not be patchy no matter what primers I used or powders I used over the top of it and it would end up looking cakey. And this again is another one that gets so much buzz. Like everybody loves it if you can find it in your shade. 
Milani. But even trying to mix it with my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer, which I have a lot of luck mixing this with things that are the wrong shade to get a shade that more matches my skin. I mean, I know I'm a pale princess, but even mixing it, it was streaky, patchy. I just, I, I couldn't get it to work. And it really stunk because it's affordable and it's matte and it's full coverage. It's all the things I want and it just didn't work. And I'm very sad. Uh, so that was a stinker. Boo. That was a YouTube little. That was a YouTube made me buy it. That was a fail. So that really stinks. It stinks. Right, one last thing. This is the Nip Plus Fab. I got this in an Etsy bag, um, which I didn't do an Etsy haul slash review this month. I don't know. I guess I just wasn't feeling it, and I felt like my last Ipsy um, unbagging got like 10 views. So I'm like, if I'm not feeling inspired, then why do it? for 10 views. So, um, I may get into it again next month. We'll see. We'll see. I just need to see if, if I feel inspired, if I'm feeling good, then I'll do it. Anyways, mm. Nip Plus Fab. This is the Glycolic Fix Serum. I was so excited to try this because, uh, serum, glycolic acid, aging skin, and this is like, um, I want, it's not a cheap brand. It's an affordable brand, but it's higher end. And I've heard a lot of good things about this um, or this brand. And I love the smell. It smells like grapefruit, like intense, wonderful pink grapefruit, which is a smell that I absolutely love. So I was using this uh, every night. I used it every night for about two weeks and then just, I couldn't even use up the whole thing. Um, it sat on my skin and felt very gummy. And I don't like, like sleeping with my face against my pillow. It was like my pillow stuck to it and waking up in the morning. I just, my skin didn't feel great and I washed it off. Um, I would wash it off every morning and I mean, I love the smell and I love the idea, but and again, I only used it for two weeks, but I just did not like at all the way it sat on my face and to not see a difference after two weeks, it just not worth it to me when I have plenty of other skincare things that I actually feel like are doing stuff to my face and I don't feel like ick at night. So that's it. Those were my January magics and tragics. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy this video. I absolutely enjoy making them. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe below or right here you can subscribe. I think I'm trying new things. Uh, yeah. Until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.